You got to be very strategic out here when dealing with these narcissists that are all around you. You have to be calculated when maneuvering, whether it's at a workplace, in church, some sort of group or gathering that you're a part of and around family. You can't just be so outright, outspoken, trying to expose every wicked person out here just on a whim because you're going to look crazy. The name of the game in a lot of situations is let them expose themselves. Don't be operating and making decisions based off of your emotions because the only thing that that's going to get you is hurt. Most people that are around you are spiritually deaf, dumb, and blind, and they do not have eyes to see toxic, demonic, manipulative behaviors. So you have to be tactful and move in wisdom in these types of situations where you have a narcissist that's lurking. Most of you at this point, you're going to be able to spot one immediately after being traumatized and abused by one. That's a gift that God has instilled into you to be able to have a radar for these demons inside of these meat suits out here. You've developed an eye to spot these demons pretty fast and that ability is only going to get sharper. And then you start to realize that there's a lot more narcissists in the world than you initially thought. It's like tapping into a new dimension where before you could only see part of the truth about society, but now you can see everybody for who they are. And it feels like some sort of nightmare, like an upside down world where that paradigm that you used to have of, oh, most people have some good in them, that, that doesn't actually exist. And there are a lot of people out here operating out of sheer wickedness and manipulative tendencies. You see, it's all a part of shedding that skin that the matrix has wrapped around you. And as you elevate to a higher dimension in the spirit, you're not always going to like what you see. There are a lot of ugly, insidious things that people are dealing with. And you're going to be able to see all of that now. The narcissist was the training ground of your awakening. As you maneuver throughout society with this newfound wisdom, you cannot be caught acting based off of your emotions. You can't be triggered when you see one of these devils again, just in a new body. You're going to want to expose them. But you have to be smart. Because a lot of ways that you handle them can end up being completely counterproductive. Most people around you are under a spell in general, and a lot of them are under the spell of the narcissist, depending on the situation. They don't have any discernment. And even if they did, a lot of these people, they wouldn't even care. Because at the end of the day, most people are just codependent on each other emotionally. And they just look to use each other to look a certain way to give off this image for other people to try to validate themselves. So they're not as eager as you are to expose evil and injustices around them. And a lot of people thrive on drama. So some of them, they wouldn't mind having these devils around for their entertainment purposes. Until they become the target, then it's a different story. In an environment like work, where you have no choice but to operate there, you are not going to want them to know that you know. And the dumbest thing that you can do is start confiding in everyone else around you about your newfound discovery. The narcissist has a, a primeval, demonic radar for when their exposure is happening. They can feel it on a spiritual level because the demons that are in them are smart. They've been around for thousands of years. So one of their best abilities is to be able to sniff out when their exposure is happening and how to subvert that. If they find out that you're exposing them, they're going to go to any length to lie about you and tarnish your reputation. You do not want to play sadistic games with them because they will be better at it than you 100% of the time because this is what they live for. So you're not going to outmatch them at their own little special craft of lying that they've been practicing their whole entire lives. It's what they do. And you never want to fight evil with evil 
because you're just ensuring your own destruction at that point. It's a really bad look and it never has a happy ending. I always say, you don't have to see your own destruction in order to see them destroyed. They will be destroyed. So never explicitly try and expose them right away. A lot of times you're gonna be in an environment when you're, where you're gonna need to be strategic about it. Let them expose themselves because they always do, don't they? Even if people don't understand narcissism or demons, they're eventually gonna understand that this person, at the very least, just has some serious issues. Let those things expose themselves. If there are a lot of people around you, you have to create an energy and an air about you that you're not one to be messed with or manipulated. You have to emanate that, that you have dignity, that you have boundaries, that you have good character, that you're, you're strong spirited and you're wise and you're not gonna put up with somebody acting like a deceptive coward around you. Now I'm not saying that you have to prove anything to anybody, but it's an energy. You just have to carry yourself that way because the narcissist will be intimidated and they won't wanna mess with you. If you're in a work environment, a church, or other social settings where people they already know you, they know your reputation, they know that you have morals, they know that you have a solid character, and then this sniveling demon just rolls in and they instantly try to stir things up with you, then confront them right away. Put an end to it and expose them right away. But if you're in a place where you don't have as much favor from people in a particular environment, you're gonna wanna take the approach of let them expose themselves, more of a backseat approach. Almost nobody is going to be able to understand the magnitude of the evil that is at hand. And it's almost always going to be pointless to try and get people to understand. It's just going to be frustrating. They're going to befriend those who they want to control. And those people are always going to be gullible. They're going to be passive. Or they're just going to be weak people that have these personality types that are just never going to disagree with them. And they're going to distance themselves from everyone else. Besides the people that they've handpicked to control them, like little puppets. So make sure that you're never that person that's within their little web of control. All of their behavior is calculated to make them look good. Even uh, faking submission to people and declaring loyalty towards somebody. They like to network with as many people as possible, these weak people, to firmly establish their control. But depending on the situation... With this new level of discernment that you've gained, you'll be able to see right through all of the schemes right away. It's almost going to be laughable. And the Holy Spirit will show you how to maneuver in that particular environment. You see, there's a time to expose them, and there's a time to let them expose themselves. It's actually unwise to stick up for other people and get involved with things that don't even concern you. The Bible says whoever meddles in a quarrel not his own, is like one who takes a passing dog by the ears. See, it's not that God doesn't want you to stick up for what's right. It's that he wants everyone to seek him for the solution to their problem. And you being righteous, how foolish would that be for you to fight someone else's battle when God's trying to fight their battle for them? So that proverb really actually makes a lot of sense if you think about it. The Holy Spirit will give you wisdom in the situation to know when to get involved and exactly how to go about doing that. To know when to sit back. And when dealing with a narcissist in these situations, you have to be strategic. You have to be slow to anger. You have to be slow to speak. And you have to have an abundance of patience. Always wait on God and he will give you the instructions with the best way to go about it. Otherwise, you'll just be operating out of emotion in the hurt that stems from the last narcissist that scarred you. And you'll leave the door open for more narcissists to just keep plaguing your life if you let them rule you like that. It's not that difficult to win these battles in these certain environments. These narcissists, they can sense the Holy Spirit on you. And most of them, they're not even going to attempt to mess with somebody who's not a weak-minded individual. They know that you're powerful. All you have to do is keep your mouth shut 
Let them do the talking. And most of the time, what you'll wind up finding out is that a favorable outcome ends up happening. Evil always exposes itself. I hope this helps you guys. I'll see you next time.